Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and this is my 2013 Year in Review. 2013 was anything but a typical year for me, so a typical top 10 list seemed really out of place. Instead, I've decided to present you guys with a series of somewhat whimsical awards that kind of recaps my year in gaming. As with any sort of list or awards, this is 100% subjective. It's all my opinion and my opinion only. So please take note of that before you start your angry comment about how I'm so totally wrong. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the award. Best Visuals of the Year Notice how it doesn't say best graphics. I think visuals go a step further than graphics. Visuals to me denote the mood and the feel set by the visual artwork. The graphics might be the polygons, but the visuals are how all of that comes together with textures, lighting, and mood. And to that end, there was no game in 2013 that had better visuals, in my opinion, than The Swapper. It would have been very easy for the found object and clay model graphics of the Swapper to come off as nothing more than a gimmick, but instead, they fit so perfectly with the story that's being told. The mood, the lighting, everything comes together to not just look good, but to feel good while you play it. Just as much as the mechanics, the visuals set the mood for this game, and they flow throughout it seamlessly and perfect. I really enjoyed playing the Swapper, but I also really enjoyed looking at the Swapper, and that's the reason that it gets best visuals of 2013. Now, though the Swapper reigns supreme, I do want to spotlight a couple of honorable mentions. First off, I want to mention Legend of Dungeon, with its great lo-fi pixel art and its amazing lighting effects that don't just accent the game, but they're actually a play mechanic. Weapons give off light, your lantern gives off light, some rooms are cast in total darkness. Everything works so well together in that game to really create a cohesive visual style and make it just a beautiful experience to play and enjoy. And I'd also certainly be remiss if I didn't honor Guacamelee with a mention. What a visual style on that game. It's like the artwork of the ancient Mayans was interpreted by Batman the Animated Series with just a little bit of papercraft influence thrown in there for good measure. It's full of vibrant, bright colors, great character design, interesting level tile sets, and a lot of care. And in the end, the visuals of Guacamelee feel not just well-crafted, but lovingly crafted. I have to say that Drinkbox hit it out of the park with the graphics and visuals of Guacamelee. So there you have it, folks. Those are the games that I felt had outstanding visuals in 2013. If your favorite graphical powerhouse didn't make the cut, tell me about it in the comments below. Otherwise, hang around the rest of the week for more year-in-review silliness. I have been Big Dave, and as always... Take it easy.